car, you drive it through the barricades, you drive it through the house, you pull your kids out and save their lives, or you die trying. It's time to vote. How many people are going to sit on the curb and let the house burn down? I've asked thousands of audiences across the world the same question. No one ever says yes. So let's go back for a second to before you saw the smoke. You had all these thoughts on your mind. Your mental energy was scattered. Once you realized the house on fire was yours, all your mental energy came to what in mental toughness we call a focal point. You didn't look left, you didn't look right. Your whole life came down to this moment. Save the kids, no matter what it takes. 100% laser focused concentration. That is what we call world class mental toughness. And every person watching the show just proved you have it. So the real question is, if all of us have world class mental toughness, why don't most of us achieve world class results? The answer is because most people don't know why they're running in the house. In other words, in the example I just gave you, the emotional motivation was saving your kids. But in everyday life, most people never pinpoint exactly what they want or find a compelling enough reason to fight for it. As a result, their mental energy is scattered all over the place like a pinball bouncing from one bumper to the next. They end up spending more time watching life go by than they do living it. One of the greatest mental toughness secrets of champions I've discovered in the last 20 years is they decide what they want and why they want it. They are masters of uncovering the emotional fire that burns deep within their soul and they convert that fire into emotional motivation that propels them to take the necessary steps they need to take to succeed. Now think about this for yourself. You were so emotionally motivated in this scenario that you were willing to run into a burning house that a trained professional wouldn't run into. It was a one in a million shot, yet you didn't even hesitate because the emotional motivation of the love for your children was so strong, you couldn't be stopped. You were no longer a normal human being. You were a force of nature. And that's what it takes to achieve world-class results. It's not ambition that drives champions. It's the emotional tempest swirling deep inside them that demands manifestation on the physical plane. When this happens, it creates a level of sustained emotional satisfaction that can only be described as bliss. Champions quickly outgrow the desire to chase material and monetary awards. What they're ultimately chasing is a feeling that only winners experience, and that feeling is elation. So what I want you to think about, I want you to think about what gets you, churn, what gets you churned up inside. What crazy dream is keeping you up at night that would make your life complete if you could accomplish it? If you know what it is, great. If you don't, it's time to find it. No excuses. Just do the work. Do whatever it takes and use your emotional barometer as your guide. If it doesn't excite you emotionally, forget it. You'll need the emotion to sustain your motivation long enough to overcome the obstacles that will come your way. And don't use the excuse that nothing gets you emotionally charged. A few minutes ago, you were willing to run into a burning house, okay? I promise you, I promise you, you have the fire inside you. Your job is to find it, no matter how long it takes. It's your ticket to the world class. I have to take one more break, but coming up, find out why being among the middle class could hurt your chances of getting ahead. I'm not talking about your financial state. It's something much bigger. The different classes of consciousness are coming up, plus your homework assignment. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Now that we've established that all of us have world-class mental toughness and are capable of achieving almost any 